So I'm just going to take the ship into an IAC here, IAC here guys and see if we can get a pass on it and then we'll have a look at the build, okay? So here we go.
Right, no too bad. She hit 85k there. I was second. Uh, I will be uh, posting it uh, in, in the video uh, description as well. The top was 105k. I was second with 85k, 69k, 34k and 18.7k. Uh, so a pretty good performance for the ship and the team in general as you seen that went very very smoothly i don't believe there was any deaths there was no deaths in the team so a nice run so 85k out this boat so again the reason i've made this video is because there has been people asking about science builds and things uh in the in the fleet discord so I'm going to show you what a side boat is. In this case, it's a side tort boat. However, there's a lot of commonality between. There's basically two different types of side builds. There'll be side energy and side tort. This is a side tort, but there'll be a lot in common between the, the two builds, okay? And I'll get into that. But what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and proceed that through this as quickly as I can, is show you what the build was there and I'm not going to get into details of where everything comes so I'll show you what I've got all you've got to do is go into the store wiki guys and, and basically search for all these things and, and you'll see how to get them okay now the ship in that case was the temporal multi-mission science vessel T6 from the sea store it's a very good science vessel that will be account unlocked if you choose to buy it i do recommend it as being the best sea store science vessel full science vessel okay now <coughs> science vessels generally will have a three 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 four and three aft weapons now in this case it's a torque boat so these are the weapons that was being used. Gravimetric photon torpedo, particle emission plasma torpedo, neutronic torpedo, deflector, solenoid deflector, secondary deflector is a deteriorating secondary deflector. Engines were the prevailing impulse engines from competitive reputation. The warp core was the temporal defence initiative overcharged warp core from temporal reputation. Shields, temporal defence shields from the temporal defence reputation. The reason these are being used on most science builds, Psy Torp and Psy Energy, is because of the two set bonus plus 25% all damage which is a cat 2 big damage boost for your damage over time and hazards effects and as a sigh boat you will be doing a lot of those so that will help you immensely in your damage and that's that two piece there is pretty much meta for any sigh builds guys right that two piece and also the deflector as well is considered among the best science deflectors because of the huge amount of EPG uh, and control on it, okay? So, uh, aft items there were the Thoron infused mine launcher, morphogenic polaron energy torpedo, morphogenic polaron energy weapon. I'm using the three piece morphogenic polaron set from the home mission, final mission, Iconian War Art. The reason I use these and a lot of my builds is quite simply for the the great bonuses you get from the two and three piece set which is helpful to almost any type of build. The vices there was just the Kobe Ashimaru and the Nimbus Pirate Distress Call. I do recommend sticking an auxiliary battery into any free device slots that you have as boosting your aux pillar will help all your science abilities okay engineering slots were the dprm 
again won't usually be available to Federation characters, you just slot whatever you feel suits your playstyle in there. Simulated module from the Omega reputation. Buy unusual infusion circuits, these do come from the Lobo store again. If you don't have them, you just slot whatever you, whatever you prefer in that engineering slot. Science consoles were the universal causal anchor, that is the uh, console that comes with this ship. Delphic Tail Generator is bought off the exchange generally. It does come from the Lobby store, however you can buy them off the exchange because they're not uh, bound to the account. Exotic Particle gen Field Exciter is there for EPG and you get that from uh, you can either craft them when you get uh, your, R your R&D signs up to level 15 or you can buy them from the exchange. The Temporal Disentanglement Suite you get from a mission, it's completely free. The con Zero Point Energy Conduit you get uh, from the Romulan Reputations. Tactical consoles were the Lorca's custom fire controls from the Discovery Reputation. Morphogenic Matrix Controller from uh, the uh, Home Mission, which is the third part of the Morphogenic set. And finally, the Ordnance Accelerator. Hangar pets are the standard pets that come with the ship, was the Epoch Fighters. Masteries of the ship. Plus 15% da uh, damage to exotic abilities. Plus 10% shield tip points. Enhanced restorative circuitry improves hull healing by 10% and improves shield healing by 10%. Reactive shield technology is 906. Improves shield regeneration and hardness. And finally is the Starship Mastery which you'll unlock and it's particle feedback loop and it's plus 50 starship hull penetration for energy weapons when you activate an exotic damage officer ability which as a psi boat will all be almost all your, all your abilities okay and that stacks up to three times that's a good, very good one guys because that plus 50 is like a plus 5 armour pen on a weapon and you will get that to stack 3 times so you're going to end up with plus 15 armour pen on all your weapons right so that's absolutely awesome so if we come in to the traits a good day to die thrill seeker kinetic precision you get that from levelling up your R&D projectiles to level 15. Innocuous. Particle manipulator you get from levelling up your R&D signs to level 15. Operative. Fleet coordinator. Superior projectile training and Terran targeting systems. Starship traits. Improved command frequency, particle feedback loop, which was the trait that you unlock from the ship. Improved photonic officer, arrest from your constable specialization. Finally, supercharged weapons, space reps, controlled countermeasures, advanced targeting systems, Tyler's duality, precision. Auxiliary power configuration, space reps, quantum singularity, biomolecular shield, sensor interference platform, and anti time entanglement. Stations Torpedo Sped 3, Scatter Volley 1, Pirate Will 1, Channel Deconstruction. Entropic redistribution, structural integri integrity collapse, auxiliary power to structural integrity, let it go, very cold in space, destabilizing resistance beam, photonic officer, two, Repeat that. Temporal operative, primary.
guys. So, as I said, this was this is a, a, what I would call a mid-grade side tour build. Okay, and and you can see they're capable of serious amounts of damage. Okay, even without any, you know, the only energy weight in the build is that, and that is just really there for the three set bonus. Okay. Bulk of the damage is coming for these three torpedoes and all your exotic damage abilities. Right? And I'll just quickly show you as well. Uh, stats. Right? You're looking at your sign stats, guys, want to be. If you look at me there, control expertise, drain expertise, and particle generators. These are the sort of figures you should be aiming for. These are decent. They're no great, but they're decent, okay? And is there anything else? Yeah, so if you're doing a Psy Energy build, guys, all you're really going to be doing differently here is filling out these slots with, with energy weapons of your choice, okay? And it, it can be whatever really you want. It can be, you know, a beam arrays, dual cannons, dual heavy cannons, dual beam banks, whatever you fancy and on the back it'll just be it would be you know I, either your turrets or your omni beams and, and maybe a kinetic cotton beam what, what, you know whatever you fancy really right and that that would really be the only difference with uh, a, a Psy energy build right I said one more important thing power levels. If you've noticed here, because I'm no using really energy any weapons, I've just channeled everything in M Ox power because Ox power buffs all your Psy abilities. Okay. Now if you're doing an energy build, that will have that's gonna have to be maxed out and you'll want Ox as your setting as your setting one. So that's really the only differences guys. So I hope that's really helped you all get a a handle on these science builds. I'm going to end the video now. As always, if I have missed anything important, please contact me either on Discord, in game, or drop it in the comments. Thanks very much and good hunting, everybody. Goodbye.